Hey guys, this is Day19, brought to you in our video, and today we're going to discuss a little bit about Dead Island 2 and what we know so far. Um, we know this game has been delayed in our 12 weeks, so it ain't coming out February 3rd, it's coming out April 28th of this year. Because they want to focus on polishing up the game and give themselves a little extra time to make sure this game is ready to go, because quite frankly, the game looks absolutely amazing. Um, it looks fun, it looks like gore system, the flesh system is so freaking good. Um, a lot of people are impressed by it. But you can tell, like, uh, some of the footage we saw from Game Informer, it's shown a few things that the game needs a little bit better, um, needs, needs to be changed a little bit. Um, like the, the enemy variety, like the, the way the zombies look. Um, there's a few, like, a couple of uh, clips they've shown. It actually showed uh, like two, two of the same exact zombies, in, like the same, same place, same room. And it looks it just like it's kind of odd. It's like hmm, you guys twins or something. Um, it'd be nice if they can just like they got enough time they can like just edit out, you know, uh, uh, just put something else in it, you know, just like change up a little bit. Um, the enemy variety in this game looks pretty good. Like they got big, small. They got like. You know, screamers, they got like fast, they got slow, they got, you know, ones that's got flesh missing, they got different ones that look like different clothes. But just like different versions of themselves. Like, you've got a, a suicider, a bomber, whatever you want to call them. Um, all kinds of stuff. And you can use any, uh, you can use the environments to your uh, to advantage, you can use any kind of weapons you find. Um, this game is not open world. If you guys want to just open world is not. It's uh it's more like it's kinda like Dead Island one or uh Road Tide where it feels like it's open but it's not like you only go like certain paths. Um it looks like oh this this may open up but it don't really open up. Um I think it's good. I think it's good to have like this zone to have like a big open world because you know it, it puts a lot of stress on the developers to make sure everything Especially when this game coming out last gen. Well, let's face it, it's coming out the last gen as well. So, you know, they're going to make sure this game runs properly. Uh, you know, it better because, uh, quite frankly, you know, you guys know Deep Silver. They've been in trouble with, you know, Dead Island didn't really, like, hit everybody the right way back in the day. And, of course, Dead Island 2 is about the hell, which, you know, it's, it's been started over from scratch in 2019. So, Dan Buster Studio was able to start from scratch, so that's a good time. And Dan Buster Studio is not really the type of developer studio that people like because they didn't do very well in the last game they had, which was like the Homefront thing. Homefront 2 sequel has been off there, which didn't do very well. So this is a game here that if you want to like bring the series back from the dead, they're going to have to make sure that everything looks good, everything's polished. Everything is exactly what it needs to be. Um, the story, we don't really know the story very much other than, you know, you come to the you come to LA, you get bitten, and you gotta survive. And uh, as far as we know, like, your characters are, are, in, are like, they're just stuck here, or we don't know, like, other than they're immune, they, you know, they just gotta fight to survive. I'm not sure, like, I guess the government just walled it off. So it's like, it's kind of like an island, like a deserted island now, like California's on its own, or LA. Um, some of the locations we see here look fantastic, I can't wait. Um, I know the, like, the art style they've chosen is pretty good, you know, supposed to be over the top, hilarious, you know, not to be taken seriously. They do have, look like they got a couple serious moments, but it's hilarious, you know, it's got some funny moments. Because I know a lot of people said, man, Dying Light 2 is like so dark and gritty, like, like wow like this is not the type of game i want you know just and some people just didn't really care for it so hopefully Di uh, dead island 2 will be like the complete opposite where you don't take for uh, for, gra uh, for granted for granted take it seriously whatever you, what have you but visually this game looks all right looks fine um they are working on it so this is like a probably an earlier part of the build um so i expect this game to look a little even a little bit better but i'm excited for it I just want to throw out just a little video to get you guys thinking about it, about Dead Island 2, because I 
want to see what the hype level is at. You guys excited for it? You guys kind of dropped off from it. Has any of the recent videos, uh, trailers, and gameplay footages uh, excite you guys? Are you guys kind of upset? I would love to know. Let me know in the comments below. As, as always, I'll be back next week with more videos. I figured I'd just talk more about Dead Island 2. It's been a while. You know, it's just, we had a couple clips of Game Informer. It wasn't anything really super uh, groundbreaking. It's just they got some stuff they need to fix, like maybe change up a few of the, uh, you know, the way enemies look because they got like duplicates and I know some people are not going to be happy about that. Alright now, this game looks good. You can do whatever you want. You got a whole bunch of guns. Uh, they did say that ammo is going to be a little sparse. So don't expect to be like Call of Duty where you got like two or three hundred rounds per gun. I mean, you're going to have to go out and find it. So, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of Dead Island 2. I'd love to hear your words and uh, your thoughts. With that said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, wonderful night. Keep on keeping on. And I uh, love you guys so much. Thank you for, for the love and support as always. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. I'll link in the description below.